Hey guys. Hey guys. So Roman is homesick today, but he's feeling a lot better today, aren't you? Yes. Yes. So since we have him home, we thought that we would ask him some questions about hydrocephalus. Um, I asked on Instagram and Facebook if you guys had any questions, and we'll see how much Roman knows about hydrocephalus. Are you ready, Roman? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. First question. <laughs> Are you nervous? No. Okay. First question. What is hydrocephalus? Water in my brain. That's right. So hydro means water. Cephalus means head. So it's extra fluid buildup in your brain, in your ventricles. Normally the body has a way for it to just go away on its own. It's like reabsorbed. But in your case, for some reason, your body doesn't reabsorb that fluid. So it builds up and builds up and your head gets bigger and bigger. But your head doesn't because why? My shunt. Your shunt. That's right. So I thought I would add in a couple pictures for you guys. Um, this is actually an MRI of Roman's brain. The picture on the right, um, you can see all of that white. That is where the fluid is in his brain, and that was before he had a shunt. And then the picture on the left, all the white, is the fluid in his brain after he had a shunt. So you can see how much fluid went away and how much bigger his brain got. Okay, so... Next question. Are you in a lot of pain? No. No. Do you sometimes get headaches? Yes. But do they usually go away pretty quickly? Yes. Yes. So you're not in a lot of pain? No. Okay. How often do you need your shunt changed? Um, How many times have you had your shunt changed? None. Yeah. You've never had your shunt changed. Now, that's not always true for everybody. Sometimes people will have malfunctions, and it could happen at any time. You just don't know. Um, but so far, Roman has not had to have his shunt changed at all. Is there daily head pain? No. Not every day, huh? Just sometimes, right? Sometimes. Um, how does hydrocephalus affect you? Um, is there anything different you have to do because you have hydrocephalus? Yeah, I can just do everything. Yeah, you can do everything. I can climb trees. Yeah. So, does it affect you? No. No, not right now. Oh, this is a good one. Will it ever go away? Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> no. Probably not. Sometimes people... Um, their bodies will find a way for it to be managed on its own, but most likely he will have a shunt forever, right? Yes. How do you know if a shunt is working correctly? I don't know. So if something's going on with his shunt, there's some main signs we look for. Leth lethargy, headaches, really bad, vomiting. Those are like the main things that we would look for. Okay, this one's kind of for me. Um, this is a new spina bifida mom asking, how do you get over the constant fear of shunt failures? I don't know. Or do you get scared that your shunt's going to fail? No. No. Um, I don't really know if you ever get over it, but I guess as time goes on, as long as he has a shunt and everything's good, you kind of relax a little bit more, but I don't think that you ever fully get over the fear. Okay, this is a good one. What does a shunt do? It drains the fluid from my brain. That's right. And where does it drain it to? My stomach. That's right. So he has a, let's show him your shunt. He has a shunt here and there's tubing that goes all the way down. You can see it sometimes into his tummy and that's where it drains the extra fluid. And can you feel that fluid in your tummy? No. No. 
Your body just reabsorbs it there, right? Yes. Okay, so I also wanted to share these pictures. These are x-rays from the day Roman got his shunt. Um, you can see that straight line there, right there. That is the shunt catheter, and that is kind of like a straw that sucks in all the extra fluid. And then in this next picture, that is his shunt tubing that goes from his neck all the way down into his abdomen. And if you can see in this, there's like a whole bunch of extra tubing down there, and that is for growth. So as he grows, the tubing will stretch out. Um, somebody asked, does it hurt when you walk long distances? Um, no. No. Were you born with hydrocephalus? Yes. Yes, he was. Um, there are two like main types of hydrocephalus. One that you're born with, I think it's called congenital hydrocephalus, and then one that happens, could happen at any time from like trauma or um, other issues, I guess. But his was diagnosed before he was born. What type of shunt do you have? Roman has a programmable shunt. Um, I don't actually know the exact kind. Some people do. I don't. But his can be changed. His settings can be changed um, for a higher flow to a lower flow and kind of everywhere in between. So his is kind of set on the medium right now. That's pretty much it. Is there anything else you'd like to add about your hydrocephalus? No. Is it scary having hydrocephalus? No. Are you sad that you have hydrocephalus? No. Are you happy that you have hydrocephalus? Yes. <laughs> you are? <laughs> that was a trick question. <laughs> all right, Roman. So I think that's all the questions that we have. Bye, guys.